A massive response to a major fire in the hill country. Some folks now returning to their homes, but others are looking for shelter tonight as the danger continues. Thanks for watching. I'm David Scott. High winds across central Texas fueling two big wildfires today. They sparked up on opposite ends of our viewing area, one in Bastrop County near the state park there. The other, more dangerous fire in some subdivisions outside of Burnett. Let's start with that big fire in Burnett first. It took out at least 280 acres. It sent dozens of people scrambling from their homes. Two firefighters have suffered minor injuries. The wildfire started near Highway 29 and Summit Ridge Road. Winds pushed the flames north to County Road 250 and Fox Run. That's about a mile from where it began. Our Jacqueline Ingle starts off our team coverage of the fire. Jackie. David, I'm at the command post on the north side of this fire. This area right here is sort of the heart of the operation. Any brush truck or fire truck that goes in to fight the fire or comes out has to stop here to check in. Now, we have more than 18 fire crews from three counties. Most of them have been out here since 2 o'clock this afternoon fighting this fire. And it was about an hour ago that they told me it is 90% contained. Dozens of firefighters, mostly volunteers, are working to put out more than a 280 acre brush fire. Firefighters did evacuate more than 25 people from their homes along with their pets earlier this afternoon. So far, the deputy fire chief out here in Burnett says there's only been one trailer home that exploded, and as of now, that is the only structure damage that's confirmed. Now, the reason why all these firefighters have been so successful is that they have multiple command posts set up around this fire. There's one here at the north end where I'm at off of Fox Run. There's one in the middle of the fire, and there's another one off Highway 29. Credit is also being given to Burnett residents because many had evacuation plans ready, so when firefighters knocked on their door, they were quick to move. What obviously posted the posed the biggest threat to firefighters out here today was winds moving from the south, and those are still threatening to push this fire further north into Burnett County. We've been very concerned with the wind. It's obviously pushed the fire all day on us. Uh, we were finally able to get in front of it and be able to put a good, pretty good attack on it. So we think at this point we've got it about 90% contained. Now, Krista Bromley, the spokesperson for the city of Burnett, says two firefighters did suffer minor injuries. Now, the deputy fire chief says that's a pretty remarkable number considering how hot it was today and how thick the smoke got. With the heat outside and, and whatnot today, we were very concerned, but we've had a really good rehab program uh, in effect, and everybody's taken care of. As for what started this fire, Rayford says that right now he can't be sure, but he did hear reports earlier that a freight train was moving through the area, and that is what sent sparks flying into brush. David?